Hello friends, now I am going to show you how you can make master page in our library management system. So first of all we are going to use this template I am going to show you. You can download this template from um, my website. I already give link in the video description so you can find this template from there. Now we can see this template. In this template we need to clean this part because this is our content area. For master page we need to clean this part. So I already cleaned that part. We can see this is the demo.html. I clean this part. You need to clean this content MT3. Like I'm going to show you copy. In that file, you need to find content MT3. You need to clean these all things from content MT3 up to up to here only we need this content mt3 div inside part we need to clear if you, you clear inside part it means these all things will be cleared so we can use this part as our content area i already did that you can see inside demo to html i already cleaned that so we are going to use as a content area here okay so now we are going to start our project here i am going to make new project sp.net web application and here i am going to write library management system and now i am going to click ok now we have to wait until it loads Yeah, now here we need to take empty and then OK. Because we need empty website, we don't want anything on that. Then after we are going to create our master page. We have to wait. Yeah, now you can see here we are getting here our data. Now I am going to add here master page. So add new item and from your master page. We are going to create this web form with master page. No, here web form master page because if you have multiple master page, you want to in inherit one master page from another, then you need to select this. But right now, we have only one master page, so I am going to select this now. Yeah, before that, we have to create one folder and library. rename yeah. you can consider this also admin now inside this we are going to add master page and here i am going to give name librarian so librarian dot master and now add now it will create master page we have to wait yeah you can see we got here library and dot master now we are going to delete these lines only we need to keep this one line then after from this admin template we need to copy this two folder because this is the supported file copy that folder just right click inside this library and folder and paste this So you can see 
we get here two folders now from here we need to open our demo file code copy all code and directly paste here so we got here all code and here you can see we mentioned this line here we need to add content placeholder then we need to give id then we need to give run it server so we add here content placeholder also now we need to add one test page add new item we need to find web form with master page here i am going to take demo so this is for testing only that's why add here we need to select master page okay and now in this demo page i am going to write here this is for testing only now this demo page right click and make set a startup page and now we are going to run it will take some time because we are going to run first time that's why so you can see we are getting your output this is for testing only so this way we can implement master page on our project now in next video i am going to show you how we can make login page inside this library management system so now we are going to start our project step by step and i will try to complete this as, as soon as possible thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it and yeah don't forget to download this template you can get path from description thank you so much for watching my video